Hi there. Welcome to the Nerd Stop. I'm your host, Sean Corris, the Type 1 Padawan. Today, I got a comic book slash graphic novel review for you. The graphic novel is Chew, the Omnivore Edition, Volume 1. It's by John Lehman, illustrated by Rob Gilgory, um, Gullery. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Always do that. So, basically, Chew is a pretty well-known comic book. I've just gotten into it. Um, this is the Omnivore edition. A little library marker because I got it from the library. Um, what this edition is made of is two graphic novels. Um, the first one being Taster's Choice. It was the first debut um, best-selling New York Times uh, graphic novel. And the other graphic novel, um, the follow-up to Taster's Choice, which is International Flavor. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Um, this is, like I said, it's just two graphic novels in one, and they made it into like a hardback binding edition um, and just renamed it the Omnivore Edition. Um, so let's get down to what it's about. Um, it's basically what I thought was everyone kept saying, oh, you like The Walking Dead? You should check out Chew. You should check out Chew. Um, thinking that it'd be more of like a post-apocalyptic zombie type um, graphic novel slash comic. And it's really not, but it does have kind of themes of a zombie takeover feel to it in slight ways, I guess. Everyone's still alive, so spoiler alert there. But anyways, the main character of this story is none other than Tony Chu. Um, and he has this strange superpower slash ability to eat things and have memories of what those foods entail so like meat got from a cow on the farm um or vegetables where it was grown where it was processed all of these things and he feels all the emotions of that animal or being um and can kind of loop a story so he's a he's a detective um working for the fda and basically what he does is go around and solve really strange cases that have been closed for a long time um, and it leads him into some really crazy events, some really crazy storylines that, I mean, I would get into, but I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the story for you. Um, still kind of follows a timeline of things and trying to figure out different, different events within the book, but, um, overall is really good. Um, very quirky characters. Um, he gets a couple like detective sidekicks, um, partners, things like that, and they all have their own little quirks and abilities about them. Um, I don't want to go into deep, deep, deep detail, like I said, but um, they were funny at times, they were amusing at times, and kind of just very strange at others. So um, I really enjoyed it, and I, I'm going to pick up some of the graphic novels. I'll probably pick up the first two that make up this book, but I, I know there's more, and I definitely want to keep reading up the story, because it, it was really good. And I'll just show you a couple of the graphics um, in the back of the book. So like I said, um, the storyline's really good, um, just from any, anywhere from, like, vampires to a sidekick that goes crazy and, and stuff like that. I, I, it's got a lot of different, uh, characters, like I said. Here's some kind of draft drawings. Um, really good art. I enjoyed the artwork within it. Um, it's definitely got some interesting things. Here are the two creators of it. Um... And yeah, just overall, I'd probably give this a 4 out of 5. Um, the artwork was really good. Um, in general, I, I liked the storyline. It flowed really well. Um, the storyline was entertaining as well. So, um, it's like I said, it's not like The Walking Dead, but it's it's a good story with kind of a mixture of like a laugh, like a saga type deal where there's like some crude humor, stuff like that, but also funny, wacky things. Um that really just make the book entertaining also um wants you to keep reading and dive into more so that is my review of chew the omnivore edition volume one um please let me know what you think about um chew in general um what you think about the review and anything else you want to talk about i'd love to connect with you definitely have a lot more reviews coming up um I have a few books that I've read and I just need to get through making the videos on them and things like that, but I will keep tuned to it. And if you have any suggestions for me to do, to do graphic novels or comic reviews, let me know. I will definitely do them. So until next time, 
I'm Sean, and I will see you all later.